the most interesting and the most unique part of this mosque that I would like to unfold before you today is that the women in our society are not allowed to enter mosques. We all know that in front of the mosque it is written that women's entry is prohibited. Whereas if we go back to the time of the last messenger of Allah, history says that women had simultaneous participation women had equal participation in mosques besides men. Women were allowed, not only allowed, they were motivated by the last messenger to perform their salah in the mosque five times a day. They attended Jummas, they attended Eid Salahs, they attended Tarawis, and in all other social occasions, women had spontaneous participation in the mosque. Today, Hezbollah Tawheed is setting an example for the mankind where women are being motivated to come back to the mosque and offer their prayers. As you can see, this four-story building, the ground floor and the first floor are kept for male Muslims, and the second floor is designated for the female Muslims. Right now, our honorable Imam is delivering his khutbah. As you can see, the, in the ground floor is absolutely packed with male Muslims. If we go to the first floor, we are going to witness pretty much the same scenario. Please come along with me. This is the first floor of the four-story masjid complex. As you can see, this place is also designated for the male Muslims, and the second floor is designated for the female viewers. And right now, I'm standing on the second floor of the four-story masjid complex, which has been designated for all kinds of social occasions, such as marriages, akikas, uh, and at the same time, seminars, uh, religious meetings. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you can see that the, uh, slowly female Muslims are coming in and the entire hall is going to be packed. So here I have someone, I would like to ask her a question. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Your name please? My name is Ummi Hani and I have come from Rong. We see that in this country, women are not allowed to enter mosques. Their participation is totally prohibited. In this Hezbollah Tawheed Mosque, we are always motivating uh, females to come and offer their salahs and be a part of all that is being happening here. So how do you feel about it? I am feeling very proud. If we read the history of Ummate Muhammad, the period of the women of Rasulullah, we see that they have participated in the commercial system. Uh, they also prayed Salah by the side of Rasulullah. And they also played a great role uh, to develop the uh, condition of the Aro. Though I cannot see the picture of um, any masjid of Bangladesh there, uh, the women do not allowed. But only his Tawheed, women are allowed in Masjid because only his Tawheed is uh, mentioning the true Islam. Just like her, I believe if we ask any other girls, they're going to be equally responsive. My name is Umu Tijan Mahdumapani. I am a homeopathic physician. What is exactly the significance of this mosque? First and foremost, we almost we should always remember the fact, what, what the background history of this place, because this is a sacred land for us to begin with. Two of our brothers laid down their blood and their lives to protect this land. So this is of utmost importance for us. Number one. Having said that, we also must remember that this is the only place in this country, I would say, that has been built from the smallest penny to the all the construction you see here. This is all our own contribution. We should always remember that we never took even a single dime from anybody who has not volunteered his labor and his money and his time for the for building of this uh, construction. Thirdly, we should also remember that this is the one place in this in the whole of this country which has unbound access to women. Any time of the day, we you will see that we, this mosque does not have any doors. There is no door here. So whoever wants to come, any time of the day, they are most welcome. Contrary to the uh, situation prevailing in the whole of the country, where women have no access to any mosque in, anywhere, we we boast that we are following the ideals of our messenger. Where do you exactly see this mosque in the future? This mosque is our future. You see, similar to the circumstances prevalent in Medina 1500 years ago, the 
mosque was the center of the secretariat. The mosque was the center of the of Rasulullah's workplace. It was where uh, he conducted his uh, meetings from. This that was where people from even other neighboring tribes and everywhere else they came there for a discussion with him. And even the uh, mosque was used as a place for. Part of it was used for as a hospital. Part of it was used as place to host guests who had no other place to live. This mosque is serving that same purposes. So we see this as a future model of mosque in the whole of this Muslim community for the Muslim Ummah. Even now you will find that we have a designated place where people go for treatment for whoever needs um, medical assistance, we provide it in from this mosque only. We have maktab for, for our future generation to learn Arabic and the Quran, the Hadith. And also, this is the same place where all our discussions are being held. Our This is a place for our seminars. So we see this as the model of mosque to come. This is the future of Hizbut Tawheed's existence, inshallah. Thank you so much.